Hi folks, Brandon Hall here again at Access RV. Today I'm going to be doing another spotlight on one of our featured products. This is going to be the current version of Flagstaff Microlite's ever popular 21DS model. I'm going to walk around, introduce you the floor plan and some of the features and benefits. And if you're looking for a little bit more detail as far as constructions, we do have some Flagstaff specific videos for that as well. So without further ado, one of the newest changes that they've incorporated is using this automotive windshield in the front. It gives you a lot of extra light above your bed and more windows is always a good thing when it comes to RVing. Directly below that, these come with 30 pound propane bottles and a large battery tray to accommodate more battery banks. Up front you'll have a power tongue jack with a built-in loading light. The flagstaff is going to come standard with four corner stabilizer jacks. You can elect to have these as power jacks too. One of the things that's really great about this model is storage. Looking through this front pasture, you'll notice this is just cavernous. A lot of room for camp chairs, barbecues, or the big equipment. Now I'll talk about a little bit more on the inside, but you can get this model with a Murphy bed. That does absorb a lot of this storage, uh, so keep in mind that there is a trade-off on that end. Looking up, they're using a power awning with an incorporated LED accent strip underneath. You'll notice friction hinge on the door. No more plastic latch to hold your door open that you forget about and snap it and have to have a bulk box of them to replace the broken ones. Flagstaff utilizes torsion axles. They are made by Dexter. They have a five-year warranty on them. And the great thing about these is, as opposed to traditional leaf springs, when you hit ravines, potholes, washboards, rather than the whole axle and the trailer bouncing, each tire has its own travel up and down. So when you get to your site, you don't end up with all your groceries on the floor. Directly above, outside TV mount with the marine grade speakers, which work really great on a wet rainy day like this. An outside mount for a barbecue with a quick connect to take advantage of those big uh, 30 pound bottles. Moving around the rear, bumper mounted spare tire and roof ladder. And this is gonna have a gas and electric DSI water heater. Simply flip a toggle switch to ignite if you're gonna run off of gas or a toggle switch to elect electricity. And you'll see that little wiring conduit up there. That is where it is pre-wired for a Furion backup camera. If you ever wanted to add that, having that pre-wire there essentially cuts the cost in half. And as we're walking around, all flagstaffs are precision welded aluminum frame. They utilize a solid block foam insulation and then a fiberglass exterior. So they're built to a very high grade, well insulated. They hold up very well over time. And this particular model on the 21DS with its really big deep slide, you'll notice it's not going to be track driven. They're an electric piston driven for the slides, so you do get a superior mechanism there. You're going to have all of your water and electrical connection. It's detachable 30 amp shore power cord. Above that is your cable, your black tank flush, your water connection, and your quick antifreeze inlet for winterization as well as your outside utility shower. Moving forward, this is gonna be some exterior storage under the dinette. And one thing that I always like to point out on Flagstaffs is a lot of nicer brands out there, even when they frame their walls in aluminum, the dinette and bed bases, they end up framing that in wood. So what happens is over time, while you get up and down, up and down, that wood will break down and it'll start to get soggy or break. Flagstaff goes an extra mile and they use aluminum for the bases of their dinettes and beds too. So you can rest easy knowing that's gonna hold up really well over time. Moving forward, the other side of that pass-through, as well as your fresh tank fill, and all of your tire uh, weight and capacity dimensions. So let's walk around and we'll step inside here. Now the first thing you'll notice on this as I walk inside is the overall length on this trailer is only 21 foot 9 inches. 
it feels like a big spacious trailer. You notice how much space there is on the floor there once that slide is out. Lots of elbow room for multiple people in here. The dinette houses a large U-shaped dinette. They'll make a spacious secondary bed. That cardboard box there is going to hold the outside barbecue. And I really like that rather than the posts and pedestals, these guys use a portable table. Uh, you can use it inside and out rather than only ever being in one position. If you have somebody a little larger on one side, you can give them more or less room. Uh, really easy to make down. Just flip this trigger here and the table will scissor up and down. Towards the front, walk around queen bed. Like I mentioned, you can opt for this model with a Murphy. So the bed would fold up to that front wall and you would have a sofa underneath. But you are gonna have storage in drawers as well as the bed base itself lifting up. Again, there's that aluminum I mentioned. AC's ducted. So you see a lot of duct through the ceiling there while the heat's gonna be ducted down lower through the cabinetry. They are now using solid surface countertops. And it's really nice on these compact models that they do the flush mount sink and cooktop to give you more workable surface area. Large oven. And they do really nice quality of wood and drawers with the full extension guides. You know, Flagstaff's kind of notorious for having a reputation over others for more storage and more windows than most manufacturers. Up above, your TV and your entertainment system, as well as your microwave and your control panel. You'll notice we ordered this one with the optional tank heaters to make this a better equipped four season unit. Now I'll backtrack here towards the front and pan around. Through the door will be the restroom that we'll visit here momentarily. Double door six cubic foot refrigerator with the raised reefer fronts to make it look more decorative and like the cabinetry. And then a large pantry here. And you can take the shelving units out for the top two slots and use the clothing rod for coats if you'd prefer. Back to the bathroom. Large angled shower. Vanity with your medicine cabinet above. Foot flush toilet and a massive linen closet here in the bathroom. Open that up for you. So plenty of room for toilet paper, towels, as well as a 14 inch high powered fan above. So I'll turn around here and kind of pan around the whole unit. Again, this was a new Flagstaff Microlite 21DS, one of their most popular models. If you have any questions regarding this floor plan, Flagstaff, or just generalized RV questions, please, by all means, give us a call. More than happy to share our expertise with you. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.